looking for a super easy dessert that's really refreshing, we have the recipe for you. Suzanne Clark from livingacreativelife.net is here with more. I love what you're making today. Tell me about it. Thank you. You know what? This is one of my absolute all-time favorite desserts. I have been making this for so long, I don't even know where the recipe came from. But um, I like it because it's so quick and easy and does not take a long time in the oven. So that's awesome, too. We're going to start off with ginger snaps for the crust, and that makes it a little different. And I have found through the years that 25 ginger snaps is the is perfect. perfect amount. Okay. So we're going to take them, put them in a baggie, use our rolling pin, and we're going to roll over the, the cookies until they become crumbs. Okay. Super, and this is easy. what it ends up with. Right. We're going to take a stick of challenge butter. I put it in my pan, put it in the microwave, melt it, put all those crumbs, and push it in. Okay. Did you add nuts to this too? Yes, I did. I added some um, chopped pecans, but you can. Add Add any kind of nuts that you'd like to or if you have nut allergies don't add them it's okay okay as long as you have the butter and the ginger snaps you're good to go then this is the only oven part we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for eight minutes do That's not it. yes and do not overcook it um, when you start seeing the butter bubble you know it's ready pull it out because mm -hmm. if you overcook okay. it you'll never get it out okay. it sticks like oh, that's glue. good okay what's next <laughs> now we are going to go ahead and Dustry you can go ahead and start uh, spreading that on what do you have here um, I used um, one package of challenge cream cheese and this is a new product for them but I do like it because it's super creamy and silky and it mm -hmm. spreads nice and we are going to combine that with a half a cup of sugar and some vanilla that is it and we're going to put it in the mixer and get it smooth and creamy. Yeah, you can already and smell it. Smells yes, great. it smells delicious. So this kind of gives it the creamy cheesecake factor here. Oh, yeah. And we're just going to quickly get this in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It's just a layer. Yeah, because we are going to now kind of do the artwork. And Destry, if you want to start putting some okay. of our beautiful fresh fruit on this is what makes it and wonderful what i like about this too is that this is something my little girl would go crazy to help oh yeah you know so she would well. love it and you know today we are using mandarin oranges and strawberries and blueberries but you know what if raspberries are in season or peaches or pineapple you could use tropical fruit um uh, mangoes and kiwis are absolutely beautiful. Just kind of think of your color and what you're going to be, you know, putting on there. And um, it, you know, people want to do a nice fancy dessert, and they think they have to get out the frosting and um, all the fancy equipment, sprinkles, whatever. You don't have to. You can use all these beautiful fruits from nature. It makes it quick and easy. And see. That was fast, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, we did that really fast. So this is it. Anybody can do You can decorate any way you want. But there's one final piece to this. Right. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you another tip. Um, I like to actually make this up and then put this in the refrigerator and then pour it on so I don't spill it on the way to the refrigerator. And that is actually a lovely trick. Okay. But what I do is, um, today I just use the juice of the mandarin oranges. But any clear juice would work. And I, what I mean by clear is like not a lot of color. Apple juice, okay. white grape juice. And, that, and then you added a pack of gelatin one package of clear gelatin and I'm gonna put it on the stove just until it dissolves and I mean it'll be like a minute or two okay then we're gonna pour but like I say I would actually put this in my refrigerator and pour and guess what Dustry we are done that's Can it you believe it how and long does this take to set you know about one to two hours but it's really quick it's and really this quick. is the final product of yes. course you can go to livingandcreativelife.net to get this recipe and now you're gonna cut it. Let me check it out. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, it looks so great. And it's, it's just so beautiful because it kind of glistens and um, you know what else? And we so didn't use a lot of sugar. Too. We didn't use a lot of sugar. So people that are kind of looking for a nice light yet decadent dessert for summer, mm -hmm. this is really the ticket. Oh my gosh, there, there you go. go. Again, the recipe, livingacreativelife.net.